Hey guys, today's BRS Spotlight is on bulk DI resin for use with your Reef Tanks RODI system. Almost all of us reefers use DI resin as the final polish on our Reef Tanks RODI system. Not only do we want to produce that ultra pure, contaminant free, zero TDS water, but most of us want to use the most cost effective and efficient solution as well. Bulk BRS resin is going to be the best option for a vast majority of reefers who want to produce that ultra low contaminant zero TDS water at home and want to do it in an economic fashion. There's just no need to buy a brand new cartridge each time when you can refill them so easily. Buying BRS also means the resin is going to be cost effective. Vacuum packaged in extra thick foil line mylar and due to the volumes that we sell, you know it's going to be the freshest material out there. There are two basic types of bulk mixed bed DI resin, a standard golden brown version as well as a blue color changing resin. The blue color changing version is the most popular by maybe a factor of 10 to 1. The price difference is pretty minimal and a vast majority of reefers appreciate the visual indication of when to change the cartridge rather than relying solely on checking a TDS meter. We also offer two sizes, single use refills as well as a large seven and a half pound bulk Ziploc bag which contains six cartridges worth of resin and saves approaching 20 bucks versus buying them singly. That said, I wouldn't buy more resin than you might use in a year as it does start to lose some capacity as it ages past that. So if on your water supply a DI resin cartridge generally lasts you less than two months, a bulk bag is a solid option. If it lasts you longer than two months, the single packs are probably the best option. There's really only one accessory with bulk DI resin and that's the refillable cartridge. The standard 2.5 by 10 inch cartridge will fit all BRS systems and a vast majority of RODI systems out there regardless of brand or who makes it. If your system uses canisters that resemble something like this, this empty refillable cartridge will work. One quick note, this cartridge intentionally has the fill opening and cap at the bottom of the cartridge, which eliminates any issues related to bypass if the cap isn't sealed perfectly. This is absolutely the preferred type of cartridge for a DI resin application. There are some refillable cartridges out there where the cap screws onto the top and have limited to no actual seal, and the water almost always bypasses through where the cap screws on. Something that you can pretty easily identify because the air water line will stop right at the edge of the cap. All BRS systems use bottom sealed cartridges, but if you have a totally different brand of RODI system that came with a top sealed cartridge, it's probably worthwhile to replace it and achieve better system performance. Packing the resin into the empty cartridge is pretty easy. Fill it about a quarter of the way, give it a dozen or so taps, and then repeat with another quarter until it's filled to the top. This only takes about a minute, then run your finger around the edge to remove a small amount of resin, add the foam pad back in place, and screw the cap on tightly. It is better if the resin is packed in fairly tight because we don't want the resin to fluidize and separate out or stratify. There are two different types of beads inside that mixed bed resin and we want them to stay mixed. If you want to put effort into packing it as tight as possible, you can use a tool that fits inside the cartridge to apply some pressure. I personally find this 250 mil measuring cup we sell to be a really low cost option, seals inside the opening pretty well and helps me pack it as tight as possible. I would note that the resin beads do shrink during use, so it's totally normal to end up with a small amount of open water at the bottom of the cartridge over time. Even though packing one of these is maybe one of the easiest elements of reefing, we do sell them pre-packaged for around nine bucks extra, and you can get fresh, machine-packed cartridges, vacuum packaged in its own foil line bag. It's certainly a lot more convenient. When installing or replacing the fresh cartridge in your RODI system, make sure the black rubber seal is up. Once you start producing water, you'll notice water trickle down the side of the RO canister and then flow up through the DI cartridge. DI resin cartridges are designed to be upflow like this to prevent air or gases from getting captured inside the cartridge itself. You will, however, notice the RO canister itself stays filled with air because there's nowhere for it to escape. Typically, it will only fill with water to about the point where the screw cap meets the cartridge on the bottom. It may pressurize the gas and the water may rise slowly over time. None of this has any effect on performance, but if you desire, you can turn the RO system on, open the canister a bit, and let it fill with water, then re-tighten. But this would be for purely aesthetic reasons. There are no performance benefits to making sure the canister is filled with water. If you do notice that the RO canister itself fills immediately with water all the way to the top after a DI cartridge replacement, it might be an indication that the seal didn't seat right. I might open it, clean the rubber seal, check for nicks and try again. 
that doesn't work, the seals are probably old and it's probably time to replace the refillable cartridge. There are two basic ways of knowing when to replace your DI cartridge, when the color change nears the end, or when your TDS meter reads anything above zero. The color change is based on a pH change, and in most cases, a pretty accurate depiction of how much life is left inside the resin. For most people, the color change is actually a better tool for change outs than a TDS meter because it's strongly suggested that you actually change out the cartridge slightly before it's exhausted, maybe when there's a half inch or so of resin left. That's because when DI resin is fully depleted and used beyond its useful endpoint, it will release some of the elements that have the weakest bonds like ammonia and silica, which is obviously pretty undesirable. This is the case with all mixed bed resins. It's just best to replace them before the absolute endpoint. There's just no realistic way to be there for the exact moment when the DI resin is depleted with a TDS meter alone. So while the TDS meter is the most accurate method, it reads zero until the exact moment it is completely exhausted. You almost always go over the end rather than replace the cartridge slightly before the absolute endpoint. If you do want to use the resin all the way to its 100% endpoint, the best option is running dual DI cartridges in series. In this case, you typically run the first one to its complete endpoint, then swap the second one to the first canister and a brand new cartridge in the second. Benefit here isn't just more efficient use of resin, but also ensures that you have a full 10 inches of contact time with a brand new cartridge at all times. It's a pretty solid option. That's about all there is. If you have any other questions, shoot us a quick chat, email, or give us a call because this team of reefers is eager to help. See you in the next BRS Spotlight.